Our first stop is Chateau Neuf de Pop in the Rhone region of southeastern France. One of the most renowned appellations in the world, Chateau Neuf de Pop means the Pope's new castle after a French Pope in the Middle Ages relocated to the nearby town of Avignon. Wine making in each region is governed by the Appellation or Jeanne Controle or AOC and the rules dictate what can and can't be done to the vines and the wines. Chateau Neuf de Pop wines must be made with the 13 grape varietals grown here, called the Symphony. The grapes work together to compose the complex flavor of the region's famous earthy dark reds and delicious whites. Rosés are forbidden. Aurélie and Daniel Nuri manage Domaine Sergier, a family vineyard producing wine since the early 1900s. So uh, it's uh, really specific uh, to the small wine cellar because we only have small parcels uh, because the grandfather and the grand-grandfather of Daniel worked with horse, so we need in one day. Aurélie takes us down to the cellar where the wines are resting quite photogenically until they're ready to drink. When a winemaker hands you a glass and opens a barrel, you know this is an experience you're going to remember. You want to test it? Our next stop is to a 2,000-year-old wine cave called Le Verger de Pop. This is really amazing. This is a cave in Chateau Neuf de Pop where 2,000 years ago the Romans would stomp the grapes for the Pope, right here in this room. We're about to get a lesson on this famous wine from one of my favorite personalities, Claude Richard. I met Claude when I brought some friends to taste Chateau Neuf de Pop in the same room the Popes enjoyed their wine thousands of years ago. And he's keeping watch on a few rare bottles I might have stashed here. Claude explains why the stones in this region are key to the wine. Maybe when you arrive, you saw in the wine some big stone everywhere. And that we call the rolling stone. But it's not for the music. <laughs> but you will have the satisfaction. <laughs> this stone arriving with the Rhone River and with the glacier at the glacier age. And they are very important because they get the sun during all day and they give back the heat during the night. And that is very good for the maturation of the wine. And when you see the stone like that is about 95% of the vineyard, if you take in the soil three meters and a half deep, you have one year of reserve of water. And that is very important because in the rules of the AOC, the irrigation is not allowed. So if we have, and we have, a dry summer without the rain, it doesn't matter for the vines. And it doesn't matter for us as well, because we don't drink the water, we drink only wine, so no problem. <laughs> and you know what is the legs in the wine? You yes, swell the yeah. wine like that, yes. and you will see when the strings are coming, that is the legs. And the legs is a residual natural sugar in the wine. That's the glycerol and is the alcohol. And more you have the legs, better is it and more the legs are coming down slow, more the level of the alcohol is high. Now it's time to learn how to taste like a real Frenchman. It's okay to slurp. I'll pass that part, but that's lovely. You have to eat the wine. Like if you eat, eat a wine. piece of meat or something. Like you know, really to put, the, really the wine. Yeah. So the next time someone says they've never heard of the famous wines from Chateau Neuf de Pop, won't you be an expert? Wine education, straight from the source. What will you discover tomorrow at WellTravelTexan.com?